Good day, everyone, and welcome to a brand new series featuring transport fever. Uh, we are going to do a series on transport fever. We're using vanilla game. We're starting in 1850 with seed capital of three million somethings. And we're going to use this particular map, which you see before you. And I'll just uh, run it up here. You can see it's, uh, this is European setting, relatively flat, got some hills, got some rivers, but no mountains uh, and not particularly difficult terrain. And just having a cruise around, uh, my plan, well, my overall plan is that I like things on tracks so that the game will be very much focused on rail and tram because that's where I'm at. Uh, of course, there will be other forms of transportation. We'll be using carts, we'll be using buses, but we will be aiming to get as much trainage, if there's such a word, as we possibly can in this game. Now, uh, I'd also like to tell you that up uh, front, as we go along, my plan will be uh, to make this map a little more Australian in flavour. And it just so happens, if you look over here at the town of Wellington, there happens to be in New South Wales in Australia, the lovely town of Wellington um, and we are going to be using some local knowledge, some Google Maps uh, to build our particular town with an Australian flavour and, and basically by that I mean we're going to change the names of the towns to match towns that are near the town of Wellington in New South Wales, and we're going to give it that Australian flavour. Now, I've had a quick look at the map, uh, or actually, just before I say that, I have actually played two of the tutorial scenarios uh, before coming in here to do the Let's Play, and I've got to tell you, I didn't do all that well with the second tutorial. So, whilst I'm coming in full of enthusiasm and uh, the desire to make things go fast now, uh, there is a good chance that this could all end horribly, end with great disaster. But uh, we're going to give it a shot anyway. So having said that, and having looked at this map a little bit, I've decided to not start in Wellington, but to start slightly more to the west over here, using Newport, Eastley and Langport to get our uh, great transport empire established uh, by setting up passenger services between these three towns. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through and rename these to bring in that local context. Now, uh, not particularly uh, west, but uh, west, no, nor west, nor nor west of Wellington in New South Wales is the lovely town of Geary, and so we're going to have Geary here in our scenario, and then further up the road from Geary is another exciting town which we're just going to get in here, and that's Wongarbon. So you can see how the flavour is already starting on our map. And a little bit west of Wellington, there is a town called Arthurville, but that doesn't seem to have the, the atypical flavour that we're looking for. So we're going to go just further west of Arthurville to Wambangalang. 
and we're going to put that in there as our town name. Now, if any of you doubt that these are in fact, oh, did I spell that correctly? Wham, bang, galang. Nope, that's right. Uh, if any of you doubt that these are in fact made up names, just go to Google Maps, type in Wellington, New South Wales, and start having a look around, uh, and you'll find these towns are really there. And um, I'm not lying to you. So we're going to get some Australian flavour going in this, mate. Not a worry. All right, so now we're going to start at Wongarbon and we're going to run our first passenger service to Wambangalang. So, all right, let's go and get this on the road and see what we can do. So we'll start by putting in our stations and I'm having a bit of key trouble here, actually. Yep, okay, good. Let's rotate this around and try and get um, try and get what? Well, first of all, let's try and get the track. Okay, let's actually let's give this a moment's thought. We are going to run from Wongarbon to Wambangalang, but we are also at some point in the future going to go straight from Geary to Wongarbon because um, that particular a production facility there that makes food, that is an element that I think is going to be key to our future development because producing food there can service all the towns that we connect. So even though we're going there, we're also going to run a line across here in the future. So we don't want to angle our stations in such a way that we make approaches difficult. So let's just whoop, let's just try and get a bit of yep, that doesn't look too bad. Okay, that does not look too bad at all. And we hang on, we can get a good let's just go over here for a sec. So there's a section there. And uh, we could go here and that section. We're getting possibly a good third of the town just without putting any transport in. So I think that that's okay. So we'll just, that's 104,000. So that's okay. We'll do that. We'll come down here to Wambangalang. Um, we're going to put another station in here, but this this one's not this one's not going to be so easy. Now um, we we probably we probably want to we probably want to. Yeah, yeah. Um, hmm. The when Bangalang's definitely going to need services, but actually, you know what we might do? Uh, I haven't tried this before, but I think it might be worth giving it a shot. Let's go down here, back, and basically run a road across here. Okay. Like so. And then let's put our station across there. Oh yeah. Now that that ooh. There's a lot of um that's quite expensive. That's that's a hundred thousand dollars more than the other one. 
Hmm. Yeah, we got um, we got some issues there. So unable to align terrain. You know what? Let we could just bite the bullet and do that. Um, and that would be what I'd be tempted to do. Um, yeah, yeah. Although it would appear that angle-wise, that might be a better angle for us. We could get a we could get a bit of a yeah that that could be a much better angle for us yeah I think that's what we're gonna go for with this one even though it's pricey I feel it could be better for us uh but we we're not gonna add. Uh, the geary section to our line for a little while. So I think we're going to be okay. Bearing in mind that we are in 1850 and um, we are... Okay, first, what? No. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's not build anything there. So let's just think about this. We have to cross the road at some point. Where are you going to? I'm getting seasick trying to work this out. I think we have to come down here. Yep, I think we have to come down here and then across there. Um, mainly because the, if we have a line there, we can we can stop off there at some point in the future. So let's do that. Let's go across here. At, that's 120. 120 so that's quite good right now we'll we'll keep going from there up now can we get up to 120 we can we can all right now let's start at the other end so we'll go out now of course the the straighter the better for trains because you can get up speed. So that's good. We come down here. Actually, uh, let's go from there and see what happens if we do that. That's actually not too bad. 120 all the way through. We've got 1.9 million left. So far, so good. Which end do we want to put? Hmm. You know what? Let's let's put it up at Wangarbin. Uh And I am referring, of course, to the uh, shed for locomotives and goods. So we'll come out of Wangarbin. Um, a bit, and we'll do that. I think. Yeah. Well, we we're, we're not particularly concerned about speed into and out of the train shed. Um, that is not working at all well. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. That's acceptable. Hang on. We'll go down here. We'll investigate this closer. No. That, no. That's not working at all. How did you come up with that theory? <clears throat> All right, let's run the let's run the track out just a little bit more, um, so we can get some 
traction on the thing. How's that? Yes, that's a proper switch. Don't try and do things like that. It just doesn't work. Okay, so trains and uh, depot or shed, uh, depending on your particular jargon. And boom. Okay, so let's start off. We'll create a new line. Uh, this will be line one. And we will go from Wongarvan, thank you, to Wambangalang. If I can get the cursor to behave, and consequently back again. And that is exactly what we will do. Okay, so that's our line. We will go, we will go to our shed, train depot, and we will buy a train. And uh, I think to start off with, we have all of one choice. So let me see. I'll choose the one that we can choose, the D13. Uh, it was built between 1850 and 1897, has a top speed of 40 kilometers an hour, uh, 50 kilowatt. Great, 20,000 a year. Gee, that's expensive. And we get some cars. So we'll have one of those. And let's have, I don't know, what do you think? Three sixes or 18. We've got 1.4 meters left. Three or four? You know what? I'm going to go three. Now, at some point in the maybe not too distant future, they will produce new carriages that will hold more than six passengers. And uh, that's what we're doing. So we're going to set this one to line one. And you know what? We are all set to go. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, allow me to introduce you to the new inaugurated One Garbon to Wambangalang service. Thank you very much. It's, oh, look, first train and first line. We've got achievements. Bet you weren't expecting that. I certainly wasn't. Okay. It's all happening now. Uh, I did learn when I was doing the tutorial that it does take a while for the townspeople to realize that you are actually running a service or providing a good. So it's going to take us a little while to build this up. And I, now let's just click on that again. See, this is, this is pretty reasonable coverage, I feel. It's pretty reasonable coverage. And the town's got, um, if I could see that, 200 people. So that should be good. Now, why are you going down there? How fascinating. Well, as long as you get to the station that we're sending you to, that's fine. Wambangalang, on the other hand, has 197 um, but I don't feel that our station covered as uh, much as the town as we do uh, in Wongarbon. So I'm, if I was going to put a coach service in to bring passengers to the station, I would put it in here. And I would like to see... Um, let's go over here for a second. I would like to see. Um, hang on. No, I think it's over here. The, you can tell this is going to go well, can't you? By my intimate knowledge of where everything is. Yeah, this is it. So we did actually get 
most of the residential. Right, we did get most of the residential, but we missed out on a bit down here and down here. So I would be very tempted to run a loop service around there by completing that road. And in fact, I would be very tempted to even do that now while we're in the process of developing our train service. Because it obviously something we would want to do, I would think. Wouldn't you think? I would think so. Um, now, now he said, Um, now he said, let's let's go to the road and let's build a tram bus stop or a bus tram stop or something. And I also think that we are um, right-hand drive, which isn't actually what we do in Australia, but I can I can go with it. So that services the same area. Um, Bus stop covers a huge, covers quite a big area. Okay, why not? Then right hand drive, first bus stop, another uh, another award. Let's go down here. Um, and down here we get that that also covers a big area. Yep, that covers a big area. And then I I feel that we probably go here. Yeah, here. And then back up to where we started from. Okay. So um, well, we don't need a bus tram station, do we? I don't think we do. I think we're okay with stops. We need a depot. First passenger waiting. Woohoo! Right, okay, I think uh, we can put our depot out here, 110,000. Uh, and uh, actually, let's go, let's go a fair way out. First steam train arrives. You betcha. Uh, actually, let's go back down in here so we don't kill ourselves with running train lines over it. And um, we're going to now, now I tell you, oh no, sorry, got a, uh, not create a depot. We're going to go to the depot and buy a road vehicle. Uh, we get a stagecoach because, well, why wouldn't you? We get one. Buy one. Okay, we bought one. And now we need to create a line. So we're going to make a line for our depot, so new line. We're going to go from the train station to somewhere else, there, for example, then to somewhere else, there, for example, and as a consequence, back to Richmond Road. And uh, there you are, our second line. And we are going to assign road vehicle one to line two. And we are going to be hopeful that between our train and our coach service, we're going to make some money. So we actually got our first passenger at Wambangalang, and they're going up to Wangarbin. So, but no passengers at Wangarbin yet. So let's just have a look at the coverage there. Uh, yeah, look, there's quite a lot of there's quite a lot of um, residential not covered in that. So. 
So I feel we should do some town development up here um, and get ready for some civic growth. No, we don't want to do We want to do this. Right. And then we probably want to do, hang on a sec, probably want to do something like that. A building will be removed. Yeah, I'm okay with that. You okay with that? Yeah, it's good. And uh, uh, let's have a look at this. So if we click on there, and if we dropped our passengers there, went down there, round there, and up there, that's that's probably going to give us the loop. Okay, that's what we're going to do. One first bus arrived. Woohoo! We're just racking up the achievements. You know it. You know it. Passengers. Passengers. All right. First of all, let's put the road depot in because who doesn't want a good road depot? And we'll put you here, right here, because we. Why not? So, uh, in terms of um, running our depots, sorry, our bus tram stops, and it's right hand drive drive right i think uh i think that there yeah i think that there then down here oh sorry right then down here to quite no hang on a sec let's do that again so it's good for hmm Okay, down to there. It was about there, so I think we should go probably to. Oh, first passenger has arrived by train. Excellent. We're on a line and transport one passenger. Thank you very much. Okay, you can stop showing me now. Thank you. Thank you. Um. Why is that not white? That's not white. Even if I put it there, it's not white. Why is that? I don't understand. Why would it be white only on one side of the road? I don't know, he said. But I think. Um, if I come over here though, it seems to cover seems to cover just about everything, but not there. What's going on down there? Let's have a quick look at this. There's the bus stop, right? Uh well, you know. All right, well, let's go over here anyway, and it's right-hand drive, so possibly even in the same area, like there. Okay. Uh, is that How far up there does that go? We may have to add um, additional... Well, we can do that now. Okay, how far up do you go? You go up to the third house from the end. So if we go... There. Very odd. It doesn't cover that side of the street. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm okay with that because I I think we want to expand anyway. So we're done with that. We'll come here. We'll buy a coach, stage coach. Buy one of those. Right. Very good. And then we will build a new line. This will be line three. So build new line, line three, right? And we're going to go from here. 
to here to here to there. Okay, that that's good, right? That's good. And um, in one garden, there's a road vehicle. Um, in one garden, there is a road vehicle. Okay. Um, show me the road vehicle. No, that's not showing me the road vehicle. One garden, road depot. Right. This is vehicle two, and we want you to go on line three. And there you go. So uh, our train will be up here. Then we'll have Wambangalang down there and one Garvin following that. And uh, we shall see how we're going. We've got some passengers waiting at one Garvin and we've got We've got some passengers waiting at Wambangalang. Now, in terms of money, we're losing it. That's what's happening right there. We are losing it. We went from 3 million down to 1.11 million. And uh, in this financial year so far, we've lost 83,000. Well, almost eighty-four thousand dollars. So that that's exciting. Uh, now, in terms of our vehicles, everybody's losing money. Success story. Okay. Um, there's a passenger. Actually, on line two, and. Trains, look at that, 11 out of 18. That's pretty good. We would, I think I would like the train service to be pulling in more revenue, but um, that that's probably all right. Okay. All right, let's put the speed up, and uh, let's see how we go financially. Train has got 11 out of 18, so that's... That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We won't do anything for a little while now, and let's just see if we are going to be profitable. Now, um, what have we got over here? That's timber, or is it? No, it's logs. And what have we got over there? Coal? Coal, right. Coal, coal. Okay, we definitely know we need food. That's that's uh, that's more important stuff. This is more basic things down here. Line usage five percent. That's poor. Okay, poor. And when Bangalang, uh, that's eleven. Wangarban is. Eight. It's not bad. It's a pretty good start, I feel, to our uh, to our building up here. Let's just have a look at our coach coming in. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Made seven hundred dollars by doing something. Something's being built here. Residence, very good because that'll. That'll increase our um, passenger count very nicely. So at the moment, we can fill a vehicle on round trips. So that's actually pretty good. Now the um, the coach service in on Garbin is not doing as well as I would have liked to do um, but there is a passenger there now of course these two stops here are pretty much wasted at the minute but as they build residences 
we're kind of hoping that we're going to place those in the good catchment area to deliver to our train station. So we're up to six, we're 16 now out of 18, so doing pretty well. Let's just have a look at the money situation again. And um, it's one year old and it's currently losing 13,000. Let's have a look here. 83,000. We really want to be running for a little while to see if our line is successful or not. Oh, bargain. Look, we can borrow and repay in lots of 500,000. Now, what? Road, railroad, loan, interest. 30,000. How much did we borrow? Possibly a lot. Maybe the entire uh, 3 million that we started with was borrowed money. That would mean 10%. 3 million. 3 million divided by 10, 30,000. Yep, that's what it would mean. 10% per annum. That's a bit rich. Okay, in 1852, so it's a, a year is January through to December. So in 1851, we lost $91,000. Uh, so let's see if we can pull a profit in this year. After all, we are a business and, and that's what we are trying to do here. I am at the point now where I think, see, we've got 10 there. Where's the train? Train is there. And how many have we got here? 30. Okay. We're at the point now where we could run a second train. Uh, I'm not sure I want the cost of an additional. No, I don't want the cost of an additional line. So I think we're going to have a passing point which will be about midway. So the passing point should be here. Uh, I would still like to get to the end of the year and see how we're going. So let's just speed this up to uh, warp factor three. All ahead. Two, no, well, we could do warp factor three, but we'd probably be better off going all ahead full. All ahead one third, all ahead two thirds, all ahead full. Yep. A head full. Ding, 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 ding. 18 out of 18. So nothing wrong with the train service. Um, very good. All right, let's have a quick look at Lions for a moment. Train made money. Train is doing better than coaches. Mm. Four out of four, but still losing money. 139,000. Okay, that's pretty cool. All right, let's see what the finances look like down here. Ah, nice. Okay. Very good. Okay, so I think, think, think. I. I think I think we're going to go for, you know what? Actually, let's um bite the bullet and actually put the double track in. Because when we go to Geary from Wambangalang, we are going to need a two uh, two platform station anyway. So I think we'll go to the end of December. Then when we start the new year, we'll put our track in. However, having said that, um, I think we're 38 minutes in, ladies and gentlemen, and I think we should call it at this episode. And then when we come back in our next episode, we'll lay the double track uh, on the basis that 
at the end of December in 1853, we're making a profit. And I think it's all good. And I'd like to thank you for joining me in our first series episode for Transport Fever. And I'm hoping it's going to be a long one and I'm not going to stuff it up too badly and make an absolute hash of it. But only time will tell. So thank you very much for being here with me. And I hope you look after yourselves until I see you again in another episode. If you've enjoyed this one, uh, I'd appreciate it if you press the thumbs up button. And if you feel so inclined, I thank you for subscribing to my channel. And I will, as I often do, say bye for now.